Hello, it's me, Militant Ginger, and I'm doing another video quickly. Uh, I was going to do a nice little uh, intro to my, excuse me, I'm just plugging the directions, to my 360 degree camera, but unfortunately it has no batteries in it. Anyway, so I am going to do something else instead. Right, here I am in Firebird. It is Sunday, January 29th, 2017. I am off. Wait a sec. I am off to help my wife's friend move some furniture. Uh, it's nice to get out of the house. Do you know? I just realised I'm going to have to shout because you're probably not going to hear me. I'm not using this, ex uh, this uh, external mic anymore because. It was mono, and it sounded really weird on YouTube. So, um, here I am in my Firebird, off on a nice jaunt on a Sunday. It's nice to take the car out on a Sunday, because there's no traffic, I don't need to be in a suit. Continue on Hartland Commons for three quarters of a mile. There we go, that's my little Bluetooth radio. I kind of like my Firebird because um, it looks terrible. The whole car looks like a rusty pile of bolts. But mechanically, she's pretty, pretty tight. But um, uh, I fixed up the transmission, so it's like rifle bolt precision. It's got a big V8 engine, so it's powerful and fast. Uh, the suspension's good. Um, I have a, a head unit I put in myself. Uh, with like Bluetooth and hands-free and stuff, so that's... You are on the fastest route. You should reach your destination by 2.14 p.m. GPS, stuff like that, so uh, it's a real pleasure to drive this car. Unless you get stuck behind the truck like we are. Um, anyway, so I've been remiss in doing my videos. I've been remiss in doing a lot of things. Going to the gym, eating right, and stuff like that. You know... Uh, these are all the bad habits that I fell into before. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Cousins Lane. Yes, so I need to sort that out. And that's the thing, I've said this before, it always gets me. The, the ability to create the life you want... Turn so left onto Cousins Lane. Yes, thank you, honey. It's so straightforward. Yeah, the, uh, the thing you need to do to create your perfect life is so straightforward. You know what you need to do. Um, and it's just a case of we as human beings are, are terrible at cheating ourselves by not doing it. It's like, okay, if I wanted to get a ripped bodybuilder's body, it's very, I wouldn't say it's easy, but I mean, it's straightforward. I need to go to the gym every day and follow a bodybuilder's workout routine, and I need to a bodybuilder's diet every day and if you did that for continue months, on Cousins Lane for three quarters of a mile yes if you did that every day for six months boom you'd have a bodybuilder's body and the problem is in life that we want these things but we don't do the things that we need to do to get them um, I want to be my own boss and make my money from writing and I know what I need to do. I just need to write books and publish books. And yeah, there are some gray areas I need to figure out, like how to effectively market the books. Um, but you know what? In a quarter mile, turn right onto New Jersey 27 North. Um, the basics are there. I know what to do, and I just haven't been doing it. So I had this crazy scheme, and that's why I have this little video log, because I get to talk about my crazy schemes without the person I'm talking to being, that's a crazy scheme, you're never going to do that. Okay. Turn right onto New Jersey 27 North. She's a chatty little gal, isn't she? Anyway, right, um, so, what if you just scheduled everything? What if you, like, got your, your mobile phone and you put in everything you needed to do and then you just did it? Like, uh, my job at work, every day I go into work and... I sit down at my desk and I have my to-do list, and when I'm firing on all cylinders, the night before I left, I spent 15 minutes, like, plotting out my day. It's like, from 9 o'clock till 9.30, you're going to write this email. 
from 9.30 to 10.30 you're going to write this article and that means as in the daytime you go into work and you know exactly what you have to do at every point. What if you did that for life? What if you did that for everything to do with your life? It's like 5 in the morning you get out of bed, 5.15 you go to the gym, 5.15 to 5.45 you lift weights, 5.45 to 6.15 you do cardio. Continue on New Jersey 27 North for 2 miles. Thank you. Um, from 6, you get back home, so 6.30 to 7 o'clock you make breakfast and have your breakfast and do basically outline every single moment of your day and he just tried that would it work? I don't know um, maybe it would maybe I'm going to give that a try I don't know it strikes me that what I'm trying to do now is I haven't got enough rigor in it I, I know what I want to do but I don't make the, the plans and I don't fit, hit the steps to actually make it happen so maybe I just need to schedule it out and have a look to my phone. So my phone is just like, ding, ding. Hey, buddy, it's 10 o'clock, so you should be in bed. You shouldn't be staying up uh, watching TV. And then, ding, ding, it's 5 in the morning. Hey, you need to get your ass out of bed. And hopefully if I followed the steps and gone to bed the night before, it would actually work. I don't know. But I need to do something. Because it's nearly the end of January and I've... And I realise there have been hurdles thrown up uh, in terms of like kids being sick and stuff like that, but it's still, I've still failed to keep on track of everything. So that's my big plan, is to plot everything out ahead of time and just see if I can stick to it. And I think the next thing is to really focus on, on being enjoying life and being happy about life. I was walking, uh, kids the other day to the dog park to hang out with their buddy and his dog and I thought you know this I live in a great place it's got a swimming pool it's got a dog park it's got playgrounds I'm like you know what I should take advantage of those things I spend far too much time locked up inside in front of a keyboard because I think that's what I ought to be doing you know what maybe I just ought to be living life I almost feel like I just wasted so much of my life trying to do what I ought to do and I should just enjoy living it. So I am not getting any younger and I am not getting any happier. So chasing after this impossible dream of like financial security and stuff, maybe I'm an idiot. Maybe I should just chase after the dream of being happy. Hmm. I'm going to give it some thought. But Monica Avenue for one and a half miles. I'm gonna give it a thought, but there's yep. oh my goodness, there's a car in front of me. But there's definitely some room for improvement. I think the most important thing in life is to enjoy your life. And I've spent so much time recently trying to be the type A who gets these goals accomplished and becomes something better than I am. And that's all well and good, but you can't miss out on your life in the meantime. Right, I've done enough rafting. Thank you for listening. I will catch up with you very soon. Uh, I'm going to get back into making these videos every day, and I shall speak to you later. Ciao.